Hey folks, how's it going? Hope you're enjoying your new week here. Um, it's hard to believe that somehow we've already reached the middle of May almost. What's the date today? Yeah, the 12th, so a couple days to go. Either way, uh, the school year is uh, is kind of flying by as it was before, just under obviously unusual circumstances. Um, in any case, I don't want to bore you with too much of an intro today because uh, I don't want you to you know turn off the video after. 40 seconds of me talking. Um, <laughs> in any case, we are continuing, as you can probably tell by the background, with our look into uh, mythology. Um, I've chosen Athens, of course, because it's what a lot of people in the Western world would think of as the origin of a lot of our mythology, because so many of our stories are kind of based on, you know, this ancient understanding of the world that the Athenians and other Greeks tried to put together. Um, in order to understand what was happening. Uh, I was actually just watching um, a Superman movie the other day, surprise, right? And uh, I was reminded, as I always am, of how much um, Superman is kind of based on a lot of that ancient mythology. If you think about it, really, Superman is kind of like a Zeus sort of character or, um, or a Hercules type of character where he is somebody capable of doing things that are extra normal, far beyond what a regular human can do, but as a result, there are certain rules that they have to follow um, in order to maintain, you know, the respect of regular people like us. Uh, something that I've always been curious uh, about. Every culture has these heroes that they tell stories about to try and create an ideal for the rest of people to look up to and hopefully strive to, to work towards. In Superman's case, um, it's very much about how he has all this incredible power and so he's worried that if he doesn't use it responsibly that people could get hurt and uh, that's something I think maybe our society being as powerful as we are also struggle with. In any case, in the last part of this unit, you guys were creating your own creation myths, and a lot of you have uh, have done some nice work on that, although I only have a couple posting. Um, luckily, the one that I looked at this morning was Maddox, and he did one about the story of how coronavirus came to be, and that was dang creative. Nicely done, Maddox. Um, I think that uh, it also kind of shows um, that he's willing to give a shot at learning some of this video uh, creation technology, which under the circumstances we're in right now is more important than ever but also uh, it's going to be useful for what our final project is going to look like. Um, many of you have emailed over the last few days asking about the inquiry project and where to go with it. Um, we're coming back to it after this mythology unit and then a short justice unit, at least that's my plan here, because uh, you guys need justice. Um, but I'm thinking that the final version of the project is likely going to be, I'm going to ask you to make a short documentary using the information you found through your research. And I think that should be pretty cool. And it'll also give you a chance to develop your communication skills through video. And at the end of the day, the number one thing that we're supposed to teach you when it comes to English language arts is how to be an effective communicator. Normally, that means through writing, because writing is and always will be very important, not to mention reading. Um, but in the current 21st century mode of communication, being a good video maker, I think, is probably going to be just as important in different ways, maybe. I think writing, I mean, I might be a little biased here as an English teacher, writing will always be the number one skill because it helps, if you're a good writer, you're gonna be a better video creator because you're gonna understand the structure of communication. Um, but it never hurts to work on a little bit of this uh, this video editing software. Get a get a, a feel for that because I have a feeling that some of your future projects um, might be uh, benefited by this kind of skill set. In any case, great job, Maddox, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of you guys have come up with. I've got people coming up with various serious stories, and I have people making very funny stories, and so I'm enjoying those. Um, okay, so today, let's hop down here. I'm gonna have you guys do 3.3, which is the Pantheon Profile. Now you've never maybe heard the word Pantheon before, but really what a Pantheon is, it's like a group of gods. It's kind of like, you know, to use my superhero metaphor or example from before, Superman is one hero, but he's part of the Justice League. Or if you're a Marvel fan, you like Iron Man and uh, Captain America, and they're all part of the Avengers. The Pantheon is like the big team, right? But it includes the good guys, the bad guys, and everyone in between. Um, in Greek mythology, it was actually kind of unlikely that one character was going to be a good guy or a good girl versus a bad person or uh, evil. They tended to actually kind of walk the line. Zeus did some pretty crazy bad stuff, and Hades wasn't seen as like the way that we look at, say, like the devil if you're if you're a Christian uh, type of person. Um, Hades was much more like a gatekeeper of the underworld and death was a necessary function. So 
it's a it's again another window into the way the Greeks saw the world just like every mythology is a way for you to help better understand uh, a particular society but yeah pantheon is the whole group of gods or goddesses um, it's a Greek word but we use it even today to describe different groups of um, of deities or other uh, important mythological figures so what this assignment is kind of asking you to do see if I can zoom in here a little bit is uh, now that you've kind of looked at these creation myths you're watching this video right now so good job step one is almost out of the way step two is I want you to take the things that you've learned about mythologies and creation myths and all of that and um, and then I want you to choose a character so some god or goddess that uh, you're interested in it could be from Greek mythology or any other mythology that you're interested in and then you can either work on this next part independently or as part of a team but I'm just gonna read this last part out here in step three as I mentioned in the video I am not overly concerned with what format you uh, you use to show your learning for this it's gonna say that you can make a video or a, a story or whatever else is the case we'll get to that in a second here but what I'm really looking for is how you take the information that you find about this god or goddess and then present it to me is it going to be in an engaging way and an organized way and a thoughtful way um, because that's what being a good communicator is all about. We've all heard that saying that it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Well, I think what you say is still important, so don't you know throw that completely out the window. But we all know that a well put together video or a well written essay is going to be far more effective at getting the ideas across than a poorly created one. So have that in the back of your mind as you're you know looking at this project. So basically, you're going to create a short presentation to introduce a god or goddess to the class. Um, you can work with up to three people, so this is another group assignment, but as you'll notice, I don't tell you specifically how to do that here because under the current situation, you know, you're going to have to be a little bit creative. You might FaceTime with some people and do a screen capture recording. Um, maybe each of you records a certain part and then one person puts it all together with iMovie or Movie Maker or whatever other program you decide to use. Um, but either way, it's going to be up to you to figure out how to do that. But you also, because we just did a video for the last one, you don't have to do a video for this one. You could make a poster, as it says here. You could do a traditional presentation with like a PowerPoint. I guess you'll have to do like a voiceover um, for that. Or I was just thinking as I was putting this together too late to edit it, of course, um, is that, you know, social media is pretty popular. You could make like a, a fake um, Instagram page for this god or goddess that kind of tells their story and find some relevant visuals. Get creative. Um, the presentation options here are just some suggestions. You don't have to choose one of these three. If you want to try something else, go wild. I'm really just interested in the information you find and how you present it to me. So, um, try to budget around two to four minutes. I don't expect you to take, you know, two weeks on this project because I do want to move on to, there's like, I think one, maybe two, I haven't decided on the second thing yet, but one or two things we're going to do left in this unit before we move on. Um, so keep that in mind. So these are just some things that you need to talk about. So who are they? What are they the god of? What special abilities and powers do they have? What is their story? What is the other thing about them or something else about them that you find interesting? And you do have to find at least one other thing. And where are you finding this information? Because as we know from the Inquiry Project, where you get your information from really does matter. Because uh, in this day and age, with so much stuff on the internet, it's really important for us as democratic citizens, it's a little social studies moment here, to have a sense that we can trust the information that we're finding, that it comes from a reputable source that isn't going to try and sway us one way or the other based on you know non-factual information. So uh, I've also provided a website here, but there's a couple websites actually, but there's a ton of different information about gods and goddesses. A lot of you guys studied this last year already as well, so you have a pretty good starting point. There's a list of the uh, Olympians. Those are the Greek gods and goddesses. So this is basically your pantheon over here. And then down here, this is kind of really, I would say about half of your marks for this are going to come. So it'll be five points for this page here. Might as well actually explain in here. Five points for this page here and how thoroughly put together it is, um, as well as five points for the video itself or Instagram page or PowerPoint presentation or whatever format you cho choose to make. So. Tell me who they are, um, give me their names, uh, what are they god and goddess of, so what is the thing that they are most focused on, the thing that, they're, uh, that they are used to explain, so Poseidon for instance is the sea, and Zeus is lightning and all that sort of stuff, um, what special abilities and powers do they possess, because we all like that sort of stuff, what is their story, give kind of one of the main mythology 
um, examples of what this person does, what is an interesting thing you found, and where did you find that information. Don't worry too much about like the amount of space in each of these things, because you might find a lot for one. I'm imagining number four you'll have a lot of information for, whereas you know the first one you might only have one god or goddess that you're focused on. So this is just you know a piece of paper but you don't have to follow like the spacing in here so just like any other time on OneNote, you know you can use all the all the area you'd like um, also you don't have to create like an actual Instagram page if you don't want or whatever other social media um, thing you want to create uh, you can create like a, a fake social media profile over on the side here or something if you are working as a team though make sure everybody has a copy of it and that you show me on there who is doing what right so you can kind of make one together and then copy paste it onto each other's pages just make sure I can understand who is responsible for what content because I can't give you a group mark because we don't do that for obvious reasons so yeah uh, I hope this makes sense if not send me an email um, budget for this one you kind of want to be finishing the last thing up the creation myth and this one probably by around Thursday or Friday uh, and then I'll throw you the next thing probably on Thursday or Friday and then we can move on to justice sometimes next week because justice um, anyways all joking aside I hope you guys are all doing well I miss you um, but hey we're making this work and I'm proud of you guys for doing what you are so talk soon take care and uh, enjoy the improving weather bye folks